Oh man, I have so much to say guys. So first of all, thank you for surviving my short storm. It's over because I have everything set up. So I have the new phone here. There you go. I have the 120 FPS experience. I have the new Elgato HD 60 X. And in case, by the way, you're not interested in these details, just skip to the next chapter where I start the gameplay. So I have everything set up. I actually have new Elgato um, lights as well. Uh, it was tough. It was actually tough to set up everything, um, but here we are and now I can play and also record in 120 FPS. And um, actually switching to the phone was a good choice, but at the same time it came with some negative stuff as well. So. On my main account from iPad, I was close to Ace. I think I'm Master 4 at the moment. And I felt like that if I continue in that pace, I'm gonna reach Ace like, you know, within a couple of days or weeks even. But now that I started playing from my phone, it's completely different. So I absolutely enjoy the fact that I have the 120 FPS and everything is just so smooth. I really enjoy it, but I kind of had to relearn the game. Uh, and therefore I spinned up a second account, which is going to be like my free to play account. I'm not going to buy any battle pass, no elite pass, no secure container or such. So this is full free to play. Um, sometimes I'm going to play from this account, but mainly from the other one, the primary account. But I, I felt like it's good timing because I really wanted to practice. So, um, and actually there's one topic what I want to cover today while I play because I think this level is not going to be too challenging I'm just going to check trade center and then um, run into the motel and then extract so what I want to talk about is is um, you know how to win as the underdog and usually you are going to be the underdog in like many 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 games and what i mean by that first let's clarify what i mean by being the underdog so you are the underdog because you are not wearing t6 helmet you are not wearing like oh man oh man i didn't expect that so usually you are the underdog because you are not going to wear the t3 uh, t6 helmet you are not going to Dating, sorry i'm not gonna check the kill cam it was an easy kill for him i was underestimating my enemy here so you are going to be the underdog you could because you're not gonna wear the t6 armor you're not gonna wear like the high-end weapons and maybe in most cases you're gonna run solo or partnering up with one of the friends there are many many things why you could be the underdog and even if you have a device which is laggy or you have a bad connection you are also considered as the underdog so in most cases you are going to be that person and i think it really matters whether you play according to that with that mindset or whether you feel that you are like you know one man army uh mr richie rich who is going to defeat everybody on the battleground it, usually it's not the case let me quickly gear up uh, put in some stuff and then we will continue from here so i'm ready for the next battle underdog topic so what i want to say here is that most of the videos you see is that pro players or semi-pro players are teaming up with other pro players and all of them have pretty good equipment and basically they hop into the game and it's like pretty unlikely that they're gonna face similar like highly geared full squads it sometimes happens and uh it's not about you know me trying to say that it's um you know not the right thing to do everybody should be aiming to have high gear and playing as a squad but in most cases you are going to be the one facing them and you are going to be eventually alone or not having the high-end gear high-end gun and this is something i want you to think about so when i say to think about i mean it in a way where you need to be where you need to understand that you need to play according to that you need to be prepared that you are not going to be able to 
like a lone kill a full squad who is highly geared especially in armory that's that's one thing to consider just keep that in mind and there are some exceptions so if let's say you have a good device stable connection and you have like decent gear but not high-end gear but you have excellent skills in the game so you are an absolute arena breakout superstar like state could be one of the examples then you can actually you know turn that around and even if he plays solo he's not gonna be the underdog because of his skills but most of us don't have skills like Sade. And therefore, we need to compensate that. We need to compensate that by making sure that we have a proper device, we have good connection, we have... We have... We had enough time to practice our controls because um, that really matters. So if you're not being... Uh, I mean, if it's not easy for you to control your device, then, uh, you know, it's going to cause you issues during the game because you may end up dying because you just simply cannot control your character. And this is where I am now, by the way. This is why I, I talk about it, because I realized that the fact that I bought a new phone just, you know, put me back like two, two tiers or even three. I'm often mistapping and such. And I just have to live with it. It's gonna be better. But um, I had to apply a different playstyle. That's what I'm trying to say. You cannot be in good in, you cannot be good in everything. Like it may happen that you have good skills, but you're lacking something else. Maybe you don't have friends to play with. Maybe you have friends to play with, but you're not a, a superstar in Arena Breakout. Ideally, you know, everything comes together. That's the most ideal. Uh, but it's hard. So... Let's talk about what's the ideal scenario. Ideally, you don't play alone. Because... I mean, you can. Uh, because you don't have to split the loot. But ideally, this is like a game for multiple players, not for one. I was lagging. I mean, the server was lagging. So no solo play. That's like one thing you, you should be aiming for. Okay. 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 What was that? Like, are they actually, you know, rushing me or what the hell? If they're going to open the door, I'm dead, by the way. So you should be aiming to play as a squad. That's, that's one thing. Second thing is that you need to be... You need to give yourself enough time to... Oh man. Oh man. Should I try to toss that grenade? This doesn't make sense, right? Let's, let's give it a try. Like this. <laughs> so give yourself time to practice. I mean, it matters a lot. I can feel it that since I play for this from this new phone, uh, my gameplay just sucks. And I can actually point out why it sucks. Sometimes I cannot aim. Sometimes I'm misstepping. Um, I have a hard time, hard time throwing grenades and such. So it's really challenging. But I, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So if everything comes together, it's going to be fine. Come on, get away. It's gonna be all fine. It's gonna be better than from iPad. So this little sacrifice is actually worth it. Um, and just to like finish my thought, like give yourself time to practice with your device. You need to be, you know, confident that how you play, um, you know, it's gonna help you during the battle during the battles. And I'm talking about not the you know the looting part and running stuff. It's more like the action pieces where you need to run inside, where you have multiple players, and where you need to decide quickly on on what to do and how to do it. In the in those situations, it's re it really matters whether you can control your device or not. So keep that in mind. Um, 
And there are a couple of more things, obviously, on you know how not to be the underdog. Um, we covered like the solo wear, wear squad. We covered the device, and the next one would be like understanding like the map, understanding the spawns, understanding like the thinking of the enemy. And if you have all that, um, then you know you are again one step closer not to be the underdog. But again, I think most of the players um, are gonna be the underdogs all the time. All the time because that's the, just the nature of things. But it's fine because I have some I have some good good messages here at the end. So even if you are the underdog, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know it's not worth fighting. You just need to adjust your gameplay um, to make it work. And by that, I mean that you need to play in a way where you keep in mind that most likely you need to be sneaky, you need to hide and such. And if you're doing that, you're gonna have a lot of success in the game. So you don't need to be that person who runs in and instantly kills everybody. It's not gonna work. It, it's, it's, it's only going to work if you have proper skills, enough experience and, um, you know, good, good, um, good loadout, teammates, and not just teammates, teammates who can communicate, teammates who you can, you know, you, who can share like information regarding the enemies. If you have all that, the game is becoming easier and easier. But ultimately, it comes down to the skill. Like ultimately, you know, Sade is a very good example who really proved that that even if you are alone. Even if you are alone, you can clear harmony. He can do it like any time, endlessly long. So that's kind of the main factor. But um, you know, still, I feel like there are some there are some other things to consider. And for me, switching from iPad to phone was one of them. Like I just had to accept the fact that you know I need to somewhat re relearn the, the game. If you are, you know, if you already thought about what I said and you just simply accept the fact that you are the underdog, then you can start adjusting your gameplay. For example, you can pick up, uh, uh, what is it, Mosin or Mosin? Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Mosin, basically the sniper gun or sniper weapon. And, you know, you can go into the battle with the mindset like thinking that yeah I know that I'm not the strongest person in the game but I'm gonna do my very best to like have one lucky shot then pick their loot and then I'm gonna be happy so don't you know it, it shouldn't be the, your plan just to go into the into the map and then kill everybody and that brings me to another point which you know i was thinking to mention in this video or not so i'm gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and do it i think it doesn't make sense to play a map if you don't have keys simply as that you know because you know if you, if you don't have keys and it even applies to armory so if you don't have keys you are just risking too much basically for nothing because in the in the using the keys i gotta allow you to to get access to the safes and in those safes you're gonna have a chance to you know get all the red and and and, and uh yellow items and without that you know i realized that it just doesn't make sense uh so that's also something i i wanted to share and there was one more thing one more thing yeah, I covered the saves, the keys, what was it? Anyways, anyways, that 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 was kind of the, the thing I wanted. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, it came to my mind. It came to my mind. So keys, but not just keys. Before you enter the game, please decide whether you want to farm ranked points or you want to go for loot because that's also going to somewhat impact your gameplay. If I would decide that I want to go up to Ace, then I would primarily focus on you know, trying to find the enemies 
and then trying to hunt them down that would be my primary focus and as a secondary thing obviously i would i would do the looting part and uh you know make sure i extract with some stuff but even if i die during the battleground but i have a decent amount of kills i can boost my my rank points so if that's the primary goal if the primary goal is to um to loot then i wouldn't necessarily hop into every single fight and i think i stream said this multiple times that you don't need to do every single fight just just you know just just don't do it if you feel that you cannot win that fight then just try to hide uh, you don't need to like go and um uh, you know and and just hop into it every single time you, you you're gonna you're gonna fail you're gonna fail because it's so easy to die in this game especially if you you know especially if you don't have everything i listed like map knowledge experience on the map uh, understanding where the enemies come from um you know good reaction time skills in the game and whatnot then um you know it's easy to die here even the best players even the very best players and professional players die in the game sometimes they die to bots because you know this is not this is this is nothing like any other game it's easy to die in the game so if your if your primary goal guys is to loot then oh somebody's approaching so if your primary goal is to loot then then just you know pick your fights that's what i'm saying pick your fights you don't need to do the fights i know that you can get some nice loot from um if you kill enemies but i would rather come on come on so i would i would rather rather avoid fights if i would be deciding that this time I, I, I want to do looting. So, all in all, guys, uh, what I'm trying to say, hey, I know, I know this is not a tutorial type of video, and I was somewhat talking about the phone, somewhat about the experience, somewhat about, you know, underdog and favorite, and somewhat about mindset stuff. But what I'm trying to say here is that be very mindful of what you want to do in that game. So if you want to be uh highly successful then try to find teammates um don't be shy on putting up the t6 armor and good weapons and such and you know at the beginning decided now this time i'm gonna go in i'm gonna wipe everybody on the map and then loot everything it it actually works if you are properly prepared but what you shouldn't be doing is that you queue up in solo mode um then pick your best equipment and start the game. And then when the game starts, you start kind of start deciding, okay, what should I do? You should be precisely knowing what you want to do. You should be saying that this time I'm going to go into armory in solo mode. I'm going to try to sneak inside the armory. And then if I have a chance, then maybe eventually do a kill. Uh, if not, I'm just going to loot some stuff and then I'm out Then I'm going to extract. So the better plan you have, the more precise plan you have, the more successful you're going to be in the game. Anyways, um, as always, guys, leave comments. I'm very curious to see your opinion about this whole topic. Um, if you want me to, I can do one more dedicated session for why I why I feel this underdog topic is a topic. I think it really is because most people you see on screen, those are not the underdogs. Those are the favorites. Those are the ones who start the game and most likely gonna win the game because of skills, because of proper device, because of teammates, because of having, uh, you know, being rich or rich and having money or being sponsored and whatever. And in most cases, most of the viewers are, are, are on the other side of the coin maybe playing alone or with a friend not having a high-end device maybe not having elite pass battle pass uh, secure container so guys what i'm trying to say it doesn't mean that you cannot be successful in the game you just need to apply that mindset you need to accept that you are not the strongest one on the battlefield if you can achieve that you know happy days you're going to be successful 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention. Happy to be back. Happy to have the new phone. And you know, guys, I have a lot to say. So uh, I'm gonna be around. If you haven't already subscribed, thanks for doing that because it would highly support me. I'm not sure what's going on, but YouTube seems not to like my channel or whatever. You know, it's, I'm just not getting impressions, but I'm very thankful for every single subscription I have. Happy gaming, guys. See you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.